Green Bay Wacky. I do news, comedy skits, how-to videos, original music videos, and fun and interesting live streams. You gotta go to my playlist. Green Bay Wacky is on all social media platforms. Support me by subscribing, becoming a monthly member, go to my about page for merchandise, or simply share my videos. Hey guys, it's Green Bay Wacky, and I want to help some of my fellow snowmobilers out. I've got this Polaris XLT, really nice sled. Um... And, uh, yes, it is Green Bay Wacky. I am really here. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go out on the trails. But I thought I should make this video first just to try to help some fellow snowmobilers out. So, the sled runs great. It's a it's a really nice sled. Um, fairly low miles. And it's got a great track on it. But, the other night, it runs great just the way it is. I brought it in. And I put it up on the dollies, and I noticed something that I missed before. One of the windows down here, one of the windows was actually ripped on the outer edge of the track about a half inch. Now, the sled was running just fine. The sled was running just fine the way it is because the track's really solid. But I wanted to see if I could fix that integrity on that to get by another season or two. It's not the end of the world to put another track on it. It takes a few hours. you got to pull the chain case and get the sprocket out. I've done it a million times. If you don't have to go to a shop to put a track on, don't do it. But I was wondering if I could fix it and get by for the rest of the season, maybe even next season. So I went online, and I found some different techniques, and I kind of did a combination of the two. So here's how it works. Recoil rope, actual recoil, nylon, whatever the hell that is, rope uh, for pull starting. I happen to have some on hand. I keep it. And I got this product. I just got it from Walmart. Shoe goo, protective coating, shoe repair. Shoe repair. So very simple. Here's what I did. I drilled on each side of the, you know, where the hole was. And I did it through the cleat so it has more grab. I had to feed this through with a screwdriver once I drilled it because I did a tight hole. I kind of had to poke it down with a screwdriver. Once it came through, I tied it a couple times. Then what I did was I took, because I, I did it with, you know, extra. I brought the rope over itself like that, tied it up a couple more knots. So I ended up with a clump here, and the clump is no taller than the cleat. And this is on the outside, which runs on the outside anyway. The inside's nice and smooth. Then I smeared the shoe goo on there, and I did a couple applications over the course of a few hours. Man, that sucker is tight, tight. And solid. I'm really shocked. I was going to repair it with a piece of metal. But then I realized when it runs on the wheel here, the track's going to curve. A straight piece of metal isn't going to bend. And this track is so nice. If it wasn't for this, this track would probably last for 10 years. But I want to get a little more time out of it. So that's the repair. Rope. Shugu, drilled through, pulled through, tied, and then just smeared on there a couple times to fill it in. And that sucker is so strong. Now, this probably would have ran just the way it is anyway for a long time because the rest of the track's so solid. But I just didn't want to risk this getting any worse. I just wanted something that would just kind of keep that integrity. And this part won't even run on the wheel. It'll just go right by it every time. So this is an outer edge repair. We're going to go out on the trails, and I'll film it after I come back from the trails, and we'll see how it holds up. But man, I have no doubts that's going to last for possibly years. So there you go, avid snowmobilers. It's my cougar, by the way. That one doesn't need a track repair. <laughs> That one does not need a track repair, but if you're into snowmobiles, that's a pretty nice vintage 87 Cougar, and there's the XLT. All right, I hope this helps.
Green Bay Wacky. Over and out. I'm heading out on the trails right now. Out on the trails and doing the Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful out here. Beautiful. Well, I'm back. <laughs> All right, 25 miles, a quick trail ride for an hour or so. Uh, let's take a look. Still there? No problem at all. Strong as ever. No problem. Yep. Nice and flexible. I'd say definitely, yeah. No problem at all. That should hold up for a while. So I guess the rope and the shoe glue works. <laughs> All right, Green Bay Wacky out. Hope this helps you get by for a little while.